Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about decision tree in Python programming language, so please stay tuned. So in order to explain decision tree in machine learning, let's consider this example. As you can see, we have three books, Compound Effect, Four Agreements, and Seven Strategies for Wealth and Happiness. And we want to decide whether to buy these books or not, based on this tree, which you can see here. So let's start with the Compound Effect, which is my favorite book. Is it a famous book? Of course, it's a famous book. And do I like the topic? Actually, I love the topic, so I'm going to buy this book. So let's go to the next book, which is Four Agreements. Is it famous? Of course, it's very famous. And do I like the topic? Actually, I don't like the topic, so I'm not going to buy that book. And now let's consider this example, Seven Strategies for Wealth and Happiness by Jim Rohn, which is my favorite author and also speaker. He's not alive now, but I love his old seminars. So is it a famous book? No, it isn't. But do I like the topic? Yes, I love the topic. So is it a cheap book? Of course, it's a cheap book, so I'm going to buy this book. So as you can see, we have built a tree, something like this, which is very similar to a tree. And this is the root node of this tree, and this is leaf, because we are not, we don't have any branches from leaf, and we are going to make decision based on this tree, so we call it decision tree. Also, let's consider this example. As you can see, we are going to split from this part, 50, so x2 less than 50. If it is true, we're going to look at this part, and we're going to see whether x1 is a less than less than 100. If it is a less than 100, you can see that the class is blue, and if it isn't, the class is red. And we are going to continue from this part. As you can see, we are going to uh, have another split. For example, this one, we are going to say if x1 is less than 50, if it isn't less than 50, the class is red. If it is a less than 50, then we should split again. We should say uh, if x2 is less than 80, if it is, the class is blue, and if it isn't, the class is red. But let's talk about a very important terminology that we need in coding. As you can see, this is the first depth, this is the second depth, and this is the third depth that we are having in this decision tree. So here is a question. What if we want just only two depths? I mean, the maximum depth is going to be two. What if we have set maximum depths equal to 2? So if we set maximum depths equal to 2, as you can see, this is the first depth and this is the second depth, and we cannot split this part and say, okay, for example, we have blue and we, can, we have red, because this is the first depth, this is the second depth, and this is the third depth. But the maximum depth has been set to 2, so this is not valid because the maximum depth is 2. So as you can see, if you want to consider maximum depth equal to 2, we should terminate this node. But here's a question. How? Because we have blue points and also red points in this area. And the answer is by majority vote. As you can see, the majority of these points are blue. So you are going to terminate this node by saying the class of this point, the class of this one is blue. So now let's talk about decision tree in Python programming language. So we should replace this part. And remember that we have talked about the other parts of the code in the previous videos. So we should replace it with from sklearn.tree. We want to import decision tree classifier. And then we are going to create an object of this decision tree classifier. And for example, I want to name it model. And then we simply type model.fit. We want to fit our model on X train and Y train. And now if I run the code, you can see that here is our F1. And also let's consider maximum depth equal to three. And also let's pass random state equal to zero. Now if I run the code, you can see that now F1 is 90%. But maybe you ask what is the best value for the maximum depth and remember that we are not going to answer these types of questions in this video. We are going to answer these types of questions in future videos which we are going to talk about Bayesian optimization and those kinds of stuff later. In the next tutorial we are going to talk about random forest classifier in Python programming language.